here. Democrats Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama propose expanding coverage, making it universal, although there are difference between, differences between those two. But Republican John McCain has a much different plan. Channel 4's Laurel Erickson is here tonight with details. Laurel. Well, the cost of aging baby boomers is one reason you should be listening to the next president of the United States talk about how to fix health care. Government spending on health care will double over the next decade. Clinton, McCain, and Obama should all take a look at California's failure to pass universal health care if they want to see the pitfalls that lie ahead. In Hollywood, health care is almost a scripted union right. But the real California has more uninsured residents than any other state, nearly 7 million. You have insurance? You can use your insurance. You don't have no insurance, no choice, pay cash. California was supposed to show the nation how to do universal health care. A mandatory health care plan at work or a business tax to pay for it elsewhere. Then someone figured out the revolution was underfunded by billions of dollars at a time when California already faced a $15 billion shortfall. Across the country, 44 million Americans have no health insurance. We have to regulate the health insurance industry differently. We've priced out both our plan and, and Senator Clinton's plan, and some of the subsidies are not going to be sufficient. Democrats would spend $110 billion to expand coverage. Republicans would control costs and change the tax system. Senator Hillary Clinton wants everyone to have health care insurance. It's mandatory, individual, government, or work plans, subsidies for the poor. Senator Barack Obama supports mandatory health insurance for children. He calls for a new plan to cover the uninsured, plus subsidies and tax credits to buy insurance. Republican Senator John McCain wipes out tax-free health care at work, gives families tax credits up to $5,000 to buy insurance. McCain would rate doctors and hospitals on how they manage chronic disease and pay accordingly. Neither McCain nor Obama nor Clinton have answered the key question, how do you reduce costs? in this system and cover everyone. The problem, no one really knows how much it will cost and there's too much money being made in health care the way it is. Some consumer experts say expand Medicare is cost effective but politically difficult. Americans are living longer, experts say by 2015 health care spending will reach four trillion dollars overall. Tonight NBC Nightly News takes a look at the presidential candidates and our nation's health care. Back to you.